We agreed, I told you, you weren't to call me. Dead? Dead since when? Is this supposed to be a joke? Oh, Robert, I'm sorry, I, I really am. But how? What happened? How long ago were you in the car? No. No, we'd better not. Are you in London? No, don't come up. Not yet. I, I need to think. But I am sorry. Me too. Bad news, love. Somebody's wife died. To find out, would huh? You sure there's a train back for something? Eight forty. I don't want to stay there. In the town? The house. My house. Hers. Mine. It always was. It isn't at the world's end. There's a town, two hotels. Count them. If we uh, miss the train. I don't I? want to miss it. Well, this shouldn't take long. Is it necessary? What? Well, this scavenger. That's a peculiar word. It's accurate. The house is mine. There are objects in it which are mine too. The word scavenging hardly applies, eh? If we don't take them, they'll be auctioned for next to nothing. Let right? them. I'm not suggesting we make off with our clothes or the bed linen. There's some kitchen work. Gas cooker and refrigerator don't have the same morbid associations as a monogrammed handkerchief. I can't think no not. Myself, I could as readily weep at the sight of a washing machine. You're in high spirits. No. Then let's not go. Don't you want to see where I live? Not very much. Where I sat when I phoned you. 
I used to write to you late at night at the kitchen table. You can take that if you like. I think I'd better wait for you in the town. Uh, no, you must come and choose. Come There's on. There's nothing I want from that house. Each. All right. Oh, don't throw a moody. Well, come and see it then. I know it's at the back of your mind. You want nothing that won't fit in with your colour scheme, huh? Think I've forgotten? White walls and olive green carpets, yeah? Fool. <laughs> That's what our place is going to look like, right? Only the living room. It's very NW3, isn't it? All my life I've got the white walls and a beautiful deep, deep carpet. Green is a dream, deep as breath. What? Look, look. And glass door nuts. I have those. Good, good, good. How did she die, Marion? In the um, uh, car. I know that. How? Where is she driving into town? It's the library. Weather like this. I don't know. Skid, worn tires, speeding. Who's this thing? Did she, uh... I mean, was, was it in... Instantaneous. I don't know. I don't want to see where it happened. No, no, no. Glad that you and I were over there. Yes. I mean, if it was finished between us, that we'd agreed. To... Somehow that makes it not so bad. You don't like feeling guilty, eh? Do you? You're getting at me or not. <laughs> no, of course I'm not getting at you. You're a moral hemophiliac, that's all. Get you, Ada. You know what I like up Nothing to be nervous about, no dark corners. It was a mill house originally. Marion knocked down a few walls, raised the ceilings, or uh, was it lowered them? And splashed around oceans of paint, let a bit of light in. Not much of it today, though. Couldn't we have kept the taxi? I asked him to come back for us, you heard me. Yes, but if he doesn't... Then... Darling, you're making my life very difficult. He'll be here at 6.30. Mm. Oof. Give me a coat. I'm fine. We have an hour. Do you propose to spend it in the hall in the wet coat? <laughs> no olive green carpets. No white walls. Marion had good taste. I don't know, I've grown too used to it. Kitchen? Dining room. Upstairs, two beds, two baths. Aren't you posh? No, you've got to. They're passing a new law. Once it's through, if you don't have one bathroom per bedroom, you aren't allowed to take the colour supplements. Oh, well, that's an incitement to dirty living. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Uh, a drink, eh? No, thanks. Coffee, then. Yes, you will. You need it. Come on, sit down. Ah, these covers. Looks like Holy Week in the catacombs, isn't it? Hmm? Come on, sit down.
locked. Dining room. It's locked. It's not like I pictured it. There's a picture missing. Lucky at raffles. There are such people, you know. Don't bother selling them a ticket. Just hand over the loot and save a journey. Huh? Look at him. What do you think he was? I don't know. Who put it there? I did. And the person who cleaned up? Can't remember. No one's been here for two weeks. Someone. Oh, I feel ill. Come on, man. Sit down. It's not your day, is it? Yeah? It moved under the sheet. I must have touched it. Coffee will take a while. Have some of this, eh? I was looking at that blank spot. Hmm? There. Oh, yes. That was a picture of Mariam. A friend of hers is quite clever with oils. I took it down. Why? Drink your brandy. Why? Car hit the wall of an estate on the way into town. Her face was mutilated. It was hard to look at the painting afterwards. Where is it now? In the... The dining room? Hmm. Is that why it's locked? Partly. I haven't entertained much since the accident. The, uh... The key ought to be in here. I don't want to see it. The room? No, the... Is there something to laugh at? No. If I thought you were making fun of me, I... Oh, it takes three people for that. The joker, the victim, the one who loves. No, truly. I... All day you've been... You may as well know. I'm not leaving this room until the taxi comes. And the only thing I intend taking out of here is myself. Nothing else. Oh, fine, fine. You can argue all you want to. Why not? He did on the way down. That's why I was brought here. Not why. How? <clears throat> what does that mean? I needed a pretext. To, to get me here, we came down, or at least you did, to pick out things for the flat. Kitchenware, crockery. It was your idea. I wouldn't take a teaspoon out of this house. Then why? I know you too well. If I said, let's go down and hand out the furniture to the poor of the parish, you wouldn't have believed me for a moment. But when I suggested, what was your word for it? A scavenger hunt. You fell for that. You always believe the worst of people. I have good cause. She was so house proud. I mean, how could I touch anything? Did you notice the garden? The gnome, for God's sake. The half coconut shell for the birds. Marion's idea of sophisticated living was a joke book in the loo and a trick poster in the guest room. She wasn't acquisitive. It was just that beyond the front gates there were dragons, so all she could love was what lay inside them. Bits of furniture, carpets, flowers and a Why was I brought here? Kettle's boiling. Tell me! Presently.
It's only instant. But as compensation, there's brown sugar. Do you mind if I make a fool of myself again? Yeah. There's a noise. In here? Look, I heard it from in there. Stop that. Are you sure? I said so. Well, that room's empty. I didn't say it wasn't. I said, well, it was a, a rustling sound. Aye, you mean like a, like a bird in the chimney? Please go and see. All right, all right. <clears throat> it's so long since I... Uh... Since I locked that door. Can't you find the key? If it's not where you left it, some... Want to look? Portrait's not a bad likeness. You go. Sure. Come and have a look. No, thanks. You never notice noise in the city. Out of town you hear everything. Floorboards, mice, death watch beetle. When we came here first, I couldn't sleep. Is there a window in that room? Uh, a window with bars. They were there originally. Marion found them unsightly, but uh, she let them stay. She was the kind of person who believed that burglars would kill you for the fun of it. She saw the world as malevolent. Well, what? So no one got in by the window. Malevolent means evil, darling. Oh. In which? I don't pretend to be clever. It's that crisp, posh accent of yours that does it for you. Thank you very much. Oh, those superb girls with immaculate accents in Sunday morning pubs. I wonder if they know what malevolent means, if they hear voices in other rooms. Goddesses unnerve me, and it would be comforting to think of them now and again as uncertain and fearful. I know what's wrong with this house. There's always an emptiness about a house when someone's died. Oh, mystery solved. But there isn't in this one. It's as if there was someone else here. Oh, darling, come on. I'm sorry. If you say the house is empty, then it isn't. I'm stupid. I just have this... There's milk in my coffee. Did you want a black? You said no one had been in the house for two weeks. Ah. Well? You're a working girl. I wouldn't expect you to have heard of powdered milk, huh? Oh... I'm sorry. No more fancies, I promise. <clears throat> Do you know the shortest ghost story in the world? I don't. Two men were walking along together, and one of them said, Do you believe in ghosts? And the other man said, Oh, yes, yes. And vanished. <laughs> <laughs> well, why did you bring me here? You said the furniture was a pretense. Well, I... Uh, a pretext. A oh, pretext. Why? I wanted us to talk. And? A quiet chat, huh? brought me here 80 miles for a chat. Now, this house... This uh, house is yours. It has nothing to do with me. Yes, it's mine. It was Marion, so it concerns you. How? All this way. I'm shivering. I feel ill. We could have talked in London. This had better be important. Well, something needs to be settled. What? Unless... Go on. Often a man wants a girl as long as he can't have her. Then when he's free to marry her, he has second thoughts. He thinks he could do better for himself. No hurry. Shop around. It happens. Just like that, huh? Well, people do what's best for themselves. I've been let down before now. Often? No one ever did it more than once. Leaving you is the one thing I couldn't do. No. Do you believe I could marry and live with anyone except you? I told you a long time ago, this is till death. We'll see. The only reason you want to marry me is to feel superior because I can't pronounce long words. Or spell. <laughs> You're right. I couldn't let you go easily. I've come nearer to trusting you than anyone else I know. Even though you've changed. Have I? Hmm. Before. <laughs> I mean, before we agreed to split up, it was different. You rang me two or three times a day. I had a long letter on Saturdays. You sulked. You wanted answers. Everything had to be put in a little box. Yes or no. 
black or white. And now? You were possessive, which I hate. No. It's all lightness. Very cool. No more questions. It's if you didn't care. I do care. You can believe that. More coffee? Well, it was that carof wine we had at lunch. I keep forgetting that I like wine and it loathes me. It's middle age. Do you want to use the loo? There are two of them. No, it will burst. You sure? Something is wrong. With you, I have radar. I'm besotted as ever. The fever's gone, that's all. You hear someone saying he made a fool of himself over a woman. You envisage a kind of weakling, an object of pity. You wonder how any man can give himself totally to passion. You believe it could never happen to you. You're saying it did? That you made a fool of yourself? I behave foolishly, why not? We lived here in the country. Not in that awful landscape garden near London that passes for country. When you live 40 miles beyond the adultery belt, women aren't so easily come by. There are no temptations. And then I went up in the world. A new job, some excitement. Four days a week in London. Me? You. I lost my wits. And you were always in such superb control. I told myself, hey, no woman in love can be so calm. I can. And I took it for indifference. So I panicked, the phone calls, the questions. I became everything I despise in others. Why did you lose your wits over me? Why? I'm not special. Physically, no. You have nice eyes, deep as quicksands. That's not why. You're being elusive. Evasive. Well, let's see. You're a woman. That's part of it. Ninety-nine women out of a hundred of your age are no more than superannuated girls. Women really are rare. What else? The third time we went out together, you told me a little about yourself. Then you glared at me and you said, don't feel sorry for me. I almost laughed because you felt so sorry for yourself. Just then I had this absurd feeling of recognition, as if I was keeping an appointment we made God knows how many years ago. It was a homecoming. That was the start of it. And nothing to do with the kind of person you are. What kind was that? Ah, oh, nice at first. Warm, alive, choose your own cliché. First? But not later? There were quarrels. Do you wonder? I was fond of you. You were married. I I was under stress. I had hang-ups. You sound like a poulterer. Oh, be snide if you want to. Some of the girls I work with go with married men. I don't. One of them even had his baby. They're my friends, but they disgust me. I'm sorry if I've lost your good opinion. Opinion has nothing to do with it. It happened. It's frightening. When you love someone, you give them the power to destroy you. Could any man destroy you, Lena? I missed you when we split up. When we what? When we agreed to... That's the third time today you used that word. There was no agreement. We decided no, to... No, no. We... The last time I heard your voice, before Marion's accident, three months before, was on the telephone. You refused to see me. I said, you mean forever? And you laughed and you said, forever is a long time. And you hung up. Well? You decided. We didn't. Oh, it's in the past. Can't we leave it? Uh, it needs to be settled. Why? <laughs> Are we going to have a row? All right. The truth is that you wanted us to break up too, only you were too much of a coward to say it. Uh, that's not true, no. Own up. What kind of a future had we? You couldn't tell Marion. I wanted to. And I said, no, I don't go around breaking up marriages. Well, what were we to do then? Go on till she found out? I'm not so young I can go on wasting my life. I was married before, but he was a monster. 
Now I want to be happy for a change. With me? If it's what you want. Was I the one who broke us up? If so, it wasn't just for my own sake. All I'm glad about is that Marion never knew. She knew. You mean she guessed? She was told. By you? She had a letter, a London postmark. Oh, who? A friend. That was the signature. Christ. She was unambitious. A husband, four walls and a roof. That was enough. But they were necessary. You told her it was true? I had no choice. There were other proofs. What did she say? Well, you'd expect anger first, then nothing. Didn't you tell her it was over? It wasn't for me. It never would be, so how could I? She sat by herself a great deal in there. She saw it by the window, the light is good. I suppose she had a lot to think about. Then a week or so later, she took the car out. Are you saying she might have... I'm afraid there's no might about it. She left a note. Oh, please, no. You are ill. Come on, upstairs. No. Well, if you're not feeling well, at least lie down here on the sofa. Why didn't you tell me? Well, I didn't know whether or not I should. Come on, feet up, feet up, right. Oh, there's a rug somewhere. You're as cold as ice. That's what the girls call me at work. The ice queen. <laughs> you know what girls are. Arlena, cold little piece, never panics, knows the score. That's so wrong. Oh, not killed herself, not that. Shh. <laughs> quiet now, quiet. What time is it? Why isn't the taxi here? It's quarter to six. Time enough for you to take a nap. I have to go upstairs and get some papers. No, don't leave me. Just for a moment. No. Right, we'll make a bargain. You rest quietly. I'll stay with you, yeah?
How do you feel? What? How do you feel? I don't know. What time is it? Uh, nine five. I sent it away. You... You were ill. I thought it better to let you sleep. Oh. Now don't be upset. I booked a hotel room, and you'll come back for us at ten o'clock. You should have waked me. I'd as soon wake the dead. You look better. My mouth feels as if I've been eating cobwebs. The sickness is gone. What are you doing? Inventory for the auction. I deserted you to get these from upstairs. Nightmares. Or were they thoughts? Did I scream? No. Then I must have dreamt it. Tell me. Something about flowers, yellow flowers. Yes? I was dreaming of flowers. Then there was a woman. It was Marion. How could you tell? How? You never saw her. She had no face. It was dark, but there was a light. It was somewhere. She came close to me and I saw her. I dreamt that I screamed instead of a face. She. Oh, we must sue that restaurant. The carafe wine. Is it true what you said, that she killed herself? It was intentional, yes. And we were to blame? No, I blame the person who wrote that note. Are you too blind or too deaf to know that your husband has been having an affair with a girl in London? Her name... I was is... named? Of course. And note the phrasing. Not is having an affair, has been having, as if the person knew that it was over. My friends knew, my close friends. I, I told them. You, you think it was one of them? Someone wrote it. You told me your friend Lucille was jealous of it. No, not Lucille, I'm sure not. Whoever it was couldn't have known that Marion was the kind of person who would... Drive a car through a granite wall, true. <clears throat> you couldn't have known that either. There was a rule, we didn't talk about it. It made things easier. Oh, yes, for me too. Now I know I saw her now, would it suited me to see you? A cabbage, timid, dull, a woman incapable of passion would be more inconvenience than hurt him if I walked out. Once you and I began, she became unreal. She had to. Ghosts don't bleed. As you say, it made, made things easier. Does it make a difference? To us? No, does it? I feel dreadful, but... We must face it. Normal people don't kill themselves. If they get hurt, they go on. I have done. I agree, it's terrible, but... We love each other, so it'd be stupid to... Yes, you're right, as always. No use crying over spilt blood. That's sick. I apologize. I should think so. No, don't get upset. Have a peace offering. I don't know how you could say such a... Those are the flowers. What? Only I didn't dream about them. I was half asleep and I remembered fresh flowers in a house that's been locked up. That would be alarming. These flowers will always be fresh. It's... They were real. I, I tell you, they were. I saw them. I touched them. They were flowers. And you were ill. I wish they were real. I hate imitations. Marion thought they looked nice. Hey ho. So you want us to go on, huh? If you do. Did you tell anyone we were coming down here today? How could I? You didn't tell me until Paddington. Mm. Why? Uh, you're right, of course. Huh? The person who wrote this to Marion couldn't have foreseen what would have happened. 
I'm sorry if this letter is the cause of humiliation. It is better if I do not sign my name. Spell humiliation, Lena. What? Spell humiliation. Are you accusing me? No, spell it, please, me. Telling me I wrote to your wife? I haven't told you anything yet. You will regret this. Humiliation. H-U-M-I-L-A-T. Wrong. It's I-A-T. In the letter it's spelled correctly. I don't want to see it. How could you think that I would... I suppose you looked it up in the dictionary. Are you mad? You're always very careful about the long words, but I've noticed from your letters to me there's one tiny word that you always trip up on. Silly thing. Not so much a misspelling as a bad habit. Are you too blind or too deaf? Now, the word should be spelled T-double-O, and you spell it T-O. Lots of people make that mistake. Not so many. That's stupid. Why would I do such a thing? You wanted to tell your wife I was the one who said no. Because you didn't want to be part of it. In the years to come, I might have said, you broke up my marriage. And you don't like feeling guilty. I... Or rather, you don't like being a, at a disadvantage. Awful things are done to you. You don't do them. You walked out of me and I was supposed to find life unbearable. Finally, I would leave her of my own accord. And then you could always say, nobody asked you to. That's what you think of me. Well, love, I know you. And I did find life unbearable. But I didn't leave her. In time, I would... Like leave. hell. In time... But you trust no one. If you want something done, do it yourself, is that it? No, it wasn't. How then, how then? I missed you. So, you wrote to Marion. I don't expect you to understand. One minute you say you love me, now this. Everyone I've ever cared for has turned on me. Even Lucille, my so-called friend got a promotion. I'm good at my job. I work hard. She didn't say one word. Jealousy. And you're the same. I did what you hadn't the courage to do and you sit in judgment. How is it you always end up as the accuser? It wasn't easy for me to bury my pride and send that letter. Do you think I wanted to hurt her? And I'm wondering if you were worth it. Probably not, no. Oh, you're such a hypocrite. Behind it all, you're glad to be free, yet you have the gall to accuse me... Only of writing a letter. ...because you want an excuse to be rid of me. I could never be rid of you. Till I... death? Yes, I said so. That's it. I couldn't marry a man who didn't respect me. You did once, didn't you? Never again. I was good to him. He had a nice home. I was the one who looked after it, not him. He never cared. You should have seen my room. Your room? Everything white. I did it myself. White wardrobe, white dressing table. A bedspread and a carpet, like snow, beautiful. Not as posh a house as this one, but nicer. Promised when we got money we'd move. I saw a super house in Chiswick. From the road you could see into the front room. I knew just what I was going to do with that room. Walls as white as the houses you see in Spain. And green carpets. Hmm? It's gone now, of course, that house. Long ago. It was too busy after his women. Is that why you left him? No. I got so as I didn't care. Even though the sort he was, he could sleep around and still think he owned me. I don't like people who break promises. You mean the marriage vow? Everyone breaks that. Every man does. No, I meant that house. Do you think I might be unfaithful to you, Nelly? You were to Marion. Perhaps not. Oh, I've had such a lousy life. First at home with my parents, then with him. It was another boy I could have married. I rang him years afterwards. <laughs> he wouldn't talk to me, so he can't have cared very much, can he? I wasted ten years with that man. Dress well. I had an awful accident, I got rid of him. And for what? Ten years, the best years for a girl, gone. 
but I'll get them back. We'll be happy. Could you be happy? Yes. People would let me alone. I don't like being pressured. Least of all by men like him who think they own you. If I said no to him when he wanted sex, his eyes would smart, he'd go into one of his silences. I loathe that in a man. You're not like that. You spoil me. Where are you going? Is it taxi time? Uh, no, not yet. Do that. It's alright. You're as neat as I am. You haven't said yet that you forgive me for the letter. Yes, I do. Not withered, fresh. Yes, it would be. I suppose there's an explanation. Yes, I changed the flowers while you were asleep. I overlooked that. You changed them? Yes, they're a mistake, sheer carelessness. Luckily, I noticed them before you did, and there were artificial flowers in the kitchen. Marion got them with soap flakes. But why? Well, as you pointed out, one doesn't expect to find fresh flowers in a house that's been locked up. Who put them there? Marion. Six weeks ago? This morning. She's not... She's upstairs now. She was in there. It was all lies. Some of it. All of it. She's alive. There was no accident. Could you? Yes, she's alive. Just. What you call the accident wasn't successful. Well, you should know that. You saw her. When? You described how her face looked, or what's left of it. <laughs> she thought you were fast asleep. Naturally, she was anxious to see you. The crash occurred 14 weeks ago, not six as I told you. Even so, when she left the hospital, it was against their wishes. There were other injuries apart from the disfigurement. Her heart was affected, and that, of course, ruled out any idea of plastic surgery, apart from which her life... Oh, stop it! Her life expectancy is low. Why was I brought here? I told you, for a chat. Which we have had. When's the taxi due? It isn't. I never used to lie to you. I seem to have made up for it today, don't I? I suppose this is your idea of paying me out. Am I to stay and do penance to Marion? Is that it? Sorry. I should have learnt my lesson about men by now. Don't go. Open the door, please. It's a two-mile walk. I'm not afraid. I was before, not anymore. Will you please open it? This is a police offence. You could be prosecuted. I've already committed one. When? I drugged your coffee here and in London. <laughs> Nothing poisonous. I gave you some of Marion's capsules. An overdose causes nausea and drowsiness. I could have you sent to prison. I had to keep you here. There's still something to be done. I want nothing more to do with you. Please. I'll forget it ever happened. Just let me go home. A woman in this house whose life isn't worth living. She's no use to anyone. There are some who would say she'd be better off dead. So that's it. You want me to help you? Uh, what, what I mean is... That You're insane. It... I won't do it. I'll just open that door now. Kill her. Is that what you mean to do? Only you'd say it was putting the poor creature out of her misery. 
Well, you'd say I was to blame, so I'm to be part of it. Well, you can give me the key now. No, you're wrong. That wasn't what I mean. You said you'd be better off dead. I wasn't. I wasn't referring to Marion. Well, she wants to die, but she deserves not to. As for you, you have a right to know why. It isn't because of the letter. That wasn't sent out of maliciousness, but to get me back, and in a way I'm flattered. And it's not even because of the kind of person you are. You have no capacity for loving. You go through life like a child in a sweet shop from one tray to the next. <laughs> Upstairs, you? you trust no one. You're loyal, but to you, loyalty is like making love. It's a form of pain. Your husband failed you, and I suspect there were others. And so would I in time, because how can people you despise so much ever please you? You're like a driver that runs someone down, and then you blame him for scratching your paint. When you left me, for you, it was a maneuver, part of the game. I couldn't sleep or work. Forever is a long time, you said, and you laughed. Do you know what pain is, pain in others, or do you think only you can feel it? Sorry, I'm sorry! No, 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 this is no punishment, no, no. I, I must stay with Marion now and try and understand. How can I, if you're there? I love you, I love you, I love you. You, you consume my life. The kind of person you are doesn't matter. I, I had to stay here, but I can't leave her. I might, as long as you live me. Go away! How far? How far? How far? How far? How far, how far is far enough, darling? Yeah. I've explained it all to me. She understands. She doesn't approve, you know. She understands. It just isn't any other... Way, you know. Please! At least now you know someone does love you. Hmm? Please let me go! I'll give up my job! You won't know where to find me! I promise! Robert! I'm in here. Keep my word. I mean it. You won't see me again. Do you want to come in? the least I could do. Is the green deep enough? I think Marion has come down. Thought you might like a little time here first. Say an hour. 